everyone welcome to another video in this video I will discuss about generating QR code or barcode for Dynamics 365 or data force entity records okay normally what happens when you see this is a contact record right so my business requirement is whenever a contact record is created I have a column here and when whenever the by, de by default the uh, field value is no whenever you change to yes this is a uh, data type image data type field barcode and QR code is also image data type uh, image data type field so I want to generate the barcode and store in this image data type column and I want to also generate QR code for this customer by taking uh, the fields like email id and full name and generate this qr code normally you know that qr code and barcode are created by taking some raw data for a customer right so i am taking this email id and uh, first name last name you can take other uh, information also if you have some you know ssn number or other card number or any identification number that you want to store in the the barcode or QR code you can store and generate and the most important thing is once it is generated uh, through power automate I want to attach in this uh, image in, uh, column right if you open you will see the barcode looks like this and if you open the QR code the QR code looks like this right now let us see how it is done uh, we will first I will tell you what you need to do in dataverse right you have to create a solution and take the uh, entity that you want to customize and i have already added two uh, three columns the, f the first column is token sent this token sent is a boolean type yes no field choice field and whenever the value is yes then only uh, the power automate will trigger because the power automate that we are going to configure is a automated cloud flow and i have taken a qr code um, field the field name is qr code and i have taken the data type as image data type in data first we have a image data type right that image data type can be used to store images now i have given the display name is qr code and the type is image like that i have also taken another uh, field image data type named as barcode so i want to store the barcode here in this column barcode column and i want to store the qr code image in the qr code image data type on change of this field that's that's the business requirement right so once i have created this i have added this on the form in the customer form i have uh, added three columns three fields token sent barcode and qr code normally when you delete uh, when uh, initially there is no image the uh, fields look like this token sent barcode and qr code right now whenever you change to yes then only it will generate on the fly uh, on the fly through power automate and upload the image in this two columns now let us go and uh, create the uh, power automate and this power automate is created let me create a new one uh, start from scratch so that you can learn it you can go to make.powerautomate.com and here you can choose the correct environment first always remember to choose correct environment because sometimes people uh, navigate to the URL but they they ignore uh, choosing correct environment so choose correct environment first then you can create a new flow right the first step is you have to choose a trigger I want to choose automated cloud flow give a name let's say generate barcode and qr code for customer right and you can you can choose dataverse trigger just search dataverse and when you choose dataverse it will display some actions related actions i want when a row is modified so click on this and click on create now the trigger is identified now whenever so my intention is whenever the uh, contact record is modified table name is contacts so choose contacts here
this is contacts uh, so okay i have ob already updated as customer so you will find the display name i have updated as customer customers right the scope is organization and here you can define on uh, on which column uh, change which column uh, or which field change you want to trigger this power automate uh, you can copy the uh, logical name from the uh, solution and you can mention in the so this is the logical name click on advanced option and copy this and go to here and mention here that means under this value change this field value change the trigger will initiate now trigger is identified what is the next step the next step is you have to generate qr code and barcode using a connector called as encodian right now for encodian connector use you have to generate a api key you have to navigate to the encodian.com and this is a this is not a free tool but you have to you you can take the 30 days trial uh, instance trial version and this encodian if you click on product you will find floors this floor will uh, a floor is a connector that you can use for power automate for so many features so click on this floors and here you need to uh, activate free trial when you activate free trial you have to give your first name last name company name role and email address email address should be correct because um, they will send the api key in your email id then your contact number and once you enable this and click on submit they will send an email i have already received an email this is the email with the api key so what i can do i can now once it is once you receive the api key you can click on add new step in your power automate here you can search encodian now the first one is encodian this is the connector here you will find so many actions add html header to footer add image watermark to pdf so so many uh, features available add page number add text watermark watermark to image and if you go down you will find two actions one is create barcode and this is create barcode and this is create qr code so first use create barcode action and it is asking to choose a barcode type so you can choose barcode type let's say code 128 and once you choose it is asking uh, barcode uh, data right now if the connection is already uh, as i have already connected it is now taking the connection but when you create your first connection uh, it will ask to provide the api key you can click on add a new connection here you can provide a connection name let's say my uh, encodian connection and here you have to provide the api key let me provide my api key i have received for trial instance and click on create now it will create a connection now you can use the functions or the actions so for barcode creation i have used barcode type code 128 barcode data is asked so i want to in the barcode data you have to give which uh, fields uh, that you want to include in the barcode generation because it is generating code means it is taking some data and generating some code right so i can add full name then i can add some pipeline character here and use email okay i want to use the phone number also mobile phone right so three information i have taken uh, from the customer record and then it will generate the barcode you can choose what is the image format it will generate you can use png if you want to display some caption also you can use right the caption will display uh, before the barcode and after the barcode okay let's say i want to write down scan the barcode now barcode is created now i want to add another encodian action to generate uh, qr code so 
scroll down and uh, choose create QR code and create QR code also require some data which data let's say I want full name again email right so only two uh, two barcode data I am giving for creating QR code image format PNG okay you can define the height and width of the QR code of your choice right now QR code is created next what I want to do I want to upload this barcode and QR code against the record which initiated the trigger so data versus the record and what I want to do I want to upload the image so I can use a action called as upload a file or an image choose the table the table is customer and which row ID the row ID is, row ID is available in the trigger so search row ID so sorry search customer so this is the contact unique identifier which column you will find three columns right entity image is the default entity image of the record barcode is the image I have created column and QR code is the column I have created so first choose barcode and in the content assign barcode file content you see create QR code is the uh, this uh, step and uh, create barcode is the first step so you want to assign the barcode file content to barcode column so choose file content under barcode of accordion step next again I will use same upload file because it will upload two times right upload a file customer and row ID again the contact record because the contact is the unique identifier I have changed the display name as customer which column name this time QR code and which content file content from create, create QR code step now it is done you can save it so we have successfully created a power automate which will trigger whenever the token sent field value changes and it will take the uh, customer full name email id and mobile phone number and create a barcode and create a QR code by taking full name and email and it will upload the barcode in barcode column and upload the QR code in QR column QR code column right now we can test now what I can do I can click on test and manually test right so it is telling that to see it work perform the starting action the starting action is uh, the change of value so let me create a new customer first let's say Dinesh Kumar and email is Dinesh at the rate gmail.com and mobile phone let me give and click on save so the record is saved now I want to update this token sent as yes now barcode and QR code is blank now let me update to yes and click on save now after some time after some seconds the power automate will run and it will generate the barcode and QR code and attach in the record you can try refreshing this to see that till now it is not created because it is still running right so we have to wait for some seconds now it is running your flow is running message now it created the barcode and it created the QR code and uploaded the images now you see if you go to customer record and click on refresh you will find the barcode is created and uploaded if you click on open it will open the uh, barcode with all data 
and you can open the QR code also and you can scan the QR code also if you take your mobile and uh, scan it it will give you the information right so this is how you generated the uh, QR code and barcode um, by taking help of our automate and encodian connector and attached or uploaded the images against the dataverse record now next tutorial next video i will prepare how this barcodes or qr codes can be uh, uh, printed on a document template and sent that template to a customer through email right that is important part also so there is a full cycle Gen just generating barcode is not important the important is sending this barcode and qr code uh, in a document template and send to the customer so that whenever they will come to you know, come to the business your business representative can scan the qr code to validate the user right so thank you for your uh, time uh, i hope you can understand and uh, you can build this thank you guys bye and if you have not subscribed please subscribe this channel and if you want to be a member of this channel you can click join button bye thank you